Let's talk about gray rock. What is the gray rock technique and how do you use it? So gray rock technique is when you are dealing with a toxic person and they're going into any of the things they do to manipulate you. So let's just take one. They start gaslighting you. So you say, hey, I want to talk about this. They say, what do you mean that? And they twist the words and suddenly you're talking about something that isn't what your point was. Suddenly you're at fault. Suddenly, you know, everything's twisted up and you're confused and you're getting frustrated and you're getting angry. If you're going to gray rock at that point in time, you stop, you get boring. You say, oh, okay. Is that what happened? Oh, okay. I guess I didn't. You disengage. If you've gotten that far in the conversation, you didn't gray rock early enough. Okay. But that's how it's used. So then when you keep going with a gray rock technique, when they start the gaslighting, you catch it before it gets that far, before you are frustrated and engaged, you engage maybe a little bit because you're like, wait, what's going on? And then you pull back and you say, oh, okay. Boring. You behave boring. You behave disinterested. You behave neutral to the situation. You let them keep going all the way down their, their gaslighting rabbit hole, right? And then you let it diffuse by never engaging with them in their gaslighting. Basically, you don't play. They toss the gaslighting your way, you don't pick it up and toss back with a reaction to it or a defense or anything. You stop defending, you stop explaining, you stop complaining, you stop all of it. Because once a narcissist has begun the manipulation, they're not going to stop. They're already in it. Every now and then you have a moment where it feels like you can have conversations with them. Okay, fine. But once they start the manipulation, when has it ever come out the other side where it feels like a productive conversation, probably a point something percent, not even a 1%. So it's taking the toxic stuff coming at you and not engaging in it. There are different ways in which to gray rock. Some people get boring. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. In other words, they're not giving good supply, good attention. They're giving the bare minimum attention. And some narcissistic people will get bored and walk away from that. Some people get angry at that. Some narcissistic people will keep poking with that. So there's another way to just be agreeable. I don't mean be a doormat. What I mean is you are deliberately not engaging in their drama, in their trying to bait you into arguments, and you might say, oh, really? Huh. Okay. I hadn't thought of it that way. Hmm. You're not agreeing to anything. You're just turning on a fake thing back at them to diffuse the situation. They'll still keep coming at you, and sometimes then they back off. I remember doing that in that way because I had one in my life where if I were to go boring would have seen that as disrespectful and then that disrespectful attitude would have been addressed and then there would have been projecting and criticism and all of that because of the disrespectful attitude. So I came up with just being pleasant in a boring way. I don't mean, you know, looking for attention, looking to fix things. I don't mean trying to make them happy. What I mean is, oh, huh, okay. And like, almost like I don't get it, you know, playing dumb kind of to the situation. The backfire there was they actually liked it. The good part was it stopped the attacks. It stopped the, the drama that was going, that they were about to keep going with. It stopped the negative. The hard part in that was it was harder to wiggle out of it because then I'm like, well, now they're behaving better, but they really weren't treating me better. They just in those moments didn't keep going. Does that make sense? So know why you're doing it. When you are using gray rock technique, this is not to stay in relationships and have a happy life. You are not going to have a healthy relationship with a toxic person. It's not possible. They are throwing toxicity into the relationship. 
you are in response to said toxicity and oftentimes reactive to it, which is adding to the toxic interchange and exchange between you. I'm not saying you're toxic. I'm saying that when anyone is faced with toxic behavior, they're going to have reactions that they would not have in healthy relationships. And those reactions are often things we wish we didn't do. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to get reactive. We don't want to get angry in our relationships. We want to have healthy communication, right? Well, we can't with a narcissist. So know that this is not meant to make your life happy and easy. What it's meant to do is diffuse the situation so that you can see more clearly. When you have a little less gaslighting, it's a little less confusing. And when you are doing something intentionally, like using the gray rock technique, you can see the manipulation as it's happening. If you get good enough to where you are not reacting, and I know it's very difficult because they have pushed your buttons, but know that your buttons are pushed. So if you're, if you have a situation where say they're gaslighting you or they're projecting on you and they're saying things hurtful to you and they're saying things that are um, critical of you or whatever, something that is very hard to, or, or judging you or a false claim about you, really hard not to react right because you first of all you want to defend yourself and then you want to engage with it and say that's not what happened that's not how it is i'm not like that didn't i didn't say that what i'm saying and then you want to fix it what i'm saying is this what i did was that right and so then you engage that's what they want that is supply you guys when a narcissist is manipulating you they're doing it for supply they're doing it so that they can have attention. Supply is the energy they get, the fuel they get, the attention they get, the focus they get. It's all of that coming from you, going to them, that they're pulling out of you by manipulating. Or they are gaslighting and manipulating to get away with something, which then becomes that whole spiral and they're getting more attention, okay? So the gray rock is to stop all that and if you are doing it intentionally and with purpose to be able to not have to engage in those toxic exchanges, you can then watch their behavior a little more clearly. And you can see this is a person that is never gonna communicate in a healthy way. They are always gonna gaslight. They are always going, and, and that's an absolute to say always, I understand that. But the thing is they have in the past, they are right now, and they probably will tomorrow, right? And so it is, you're not seeing any change in their behavior, no matter what you do. If somebody in a healthy relationship had someone gray rock them, they would change their behavior. They would be like, well, that's different. What's going on here? And they would have an engaging situation where they could say, I can see you're not engaging with me anymore. And that's upsetting. What, what am I doing? They would have a conversation, right? With a, with a narcissist, they're either going to like it or hate it. And they're going to react to it. And that's just that. And it gives you a chance to step away from it a little and to see what those behaviors are that they're doing. When that happens, here's my little tip for Gray Rock. There is a place you can go in your head where you observe what is happening and you name it. Do not name it to them because that just creates more of the of the intensity between you name it in your own head so that your mind can start to categorize and understand what is happening with this other person and how it is not about you it is about their communication techniques their manipulation techniques their relationship if that's what you want to call it techniques okay and it is not about you in it because you can try five different things and they will still do the gaslighting you can try 20 different things you've probably even researched what's wrong with you and what you can fix in yourself before you even assumed it could have been the other person but so that gives you that space right it gives you the space to say oh oh my gosh they really gaslight a lot they really use the victim stance a lot then you allow that to be how they communicate so that you can get yourself the heck out of there and stop dealing with people who don't know how to be in relationships and don't know how to have empathic relationships with other people where they actually care about the person. So let's go over a couple tips real quick. Offer nothing. Don't engage. Stop engaging. Just stop, stop with the reaction. It's going to feel uncomfortable. Take a deep breath. Say, I'm going to gray rock right now. Okay. I'm not going to engage. 
Okay, when you walk away from that situation, you may need to decompress. You may need to get angry, write it out, shake a little bit, cry. You may need to. The thing is, talking to them is not expressing yourself. Talking to them about it is not going to get you anywhere. It's just going to take you down that same path that always takes you. It's about disengaging to disarm. They are coming in with a verbal attack to disarm that. It's about disengaging with it. Be ever so brief. No long-winded gray rocking, simple and concise and to the point. Do not tell them you are gray rocking them. Do not talk to them about a technique you're using to defuse the situation or about how, see, see when I gray rock this, right? That's engaging again. This is yours to use. Of course, they have heard of it. They know, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is not something you bring out in discussion with them. This is for, uh, just a technique for you to use. Don't fawn, self-diminish, grovel, apologize. Okay, know your truth in this situation. Know that you're being gaslit and it's gonna feel confusing and you know what your truth was, hold that truth. You don't need to engage with them for your truth to be valid. They're never gonna validate your truth. Not when it opposes the gaslighting one that they're putting out in front of you, they're not going to say, oh, you're right, I was totally twisting my the words up that you said on purpose just to get away with this. They're not going to admit to that. No, they don't take accountability. And that the point is, it's not about that. Gray rocking is to calm things down enough so that you're not in that engaged space where you're you're going off the deep end, right? And you're and you're uncomfortable and you're hurt and and it's awful. Okay, know your truth and know that this is a technique not meant for long term. Enough gray rocking often shuts people down into a disassociative, disconnected, emotional numbness that kind of takes from your whole life. Okay, you have to shut down in order to do this. You have to hold back to not engage. It's difficult. We are not all masters of this just by nature. Cool, calm, and collected people, right? Like it, it's not when you're being threatened like that. So this is meant for short-term use. It really is. It's meant to for situational use. So use it as you need it. That is a bit about gray rocking. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know what tips you have. Give me some feedback in the comments and let's help other people get some awareness around this and hopefully improve their lives. I am Lise Colucci. Please hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you guys need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the description of the videos. Um, it's all in there. How to find me is in there. And um, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.